Hello friend, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPP Nuts video series on algorithm series and this video is about the algorithmic complexities like if somebody is telling you that okay give me the theta complexity, give me omega complexity then you should be knowing that okay what that guy is talking about. This video is sponsored by Dev C++, a fast, portable, simple and free C and C++ IDE and code editor for Windows. Dev C++ uses MingW GCC as its compiler and it can also be used in combination with Sigwin or any other GCC based compiler. Dev C++ have low memory footprint because it is native Windows application and does not use Electron. And it is immensely popular due to its light footprint, yet giving you all the features you need, not to mention that it's free. So download the latest release for free by clicking the link in the description field. Mostly we go for big O notations like somebody asks you like okay you just always tell or order of n or n log n or n square or something but no. This is always denoting worst case complexity. So there are basically three types of notation used to define complexity of algorithms. First is big O notation. So if you have any idea about the complexity of the algorithms, you must be knowing that what is this big O algorithm, I mean big O notations. And if someone asks you what is average time complexity, then you will go for theta. Like you will denote with theta and whatever the complexity would be. And similarly, if somebody asks like what is the best case, then you will go for omega and whatever the complexity is. For example, quicksort. We have quicksort, right? Then in that case, if you are telling what is the complexity of quicksort, then it is half because you are not explicit about what complexity you are talking about. If you're saying order of n log n, then this is wrong actually because I have seen people talking about the complexity of quicksort with big O notation and giving n log n. No, this is not the case. The n log n is the worst case complexity, big O notation, you are saying big O notation and log n. This is not correct. Actually, the average and the best case is n log n, but the worst case of quicksort is order of n square. And if you are wondering why this n square, actually if your list is already sorted like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and you don't use randomized pivot point, you always start from one end which is not sorted, then you will end up having n square complexity. And this is the worst case. I know uh, you can find these kind of things in so many books, but still this is not correct. To show you an example, this is the authentic source. And if you see this quick sort, it is n log n for best case, n log n for average case, but worst is n square, see? And this is denoted with big O notation. Learn something new today, right? So give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care.